What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. We got some absolutely just disturbing news for you guys here coming from Russian State TV. And remember here that Russian State TV is, uh, you know, sanctioned and approved by Russia. So remember, it's very similar to uh, Chinese State TV and also German State TV during World War II. Uh, when Hitler was there, everything has to be approved. Also, similar to North Korea, um, you know, you can't just say whatever you want, okay? It's also similar to, um, you get the idea. It's not, it's not like YouTube where you can just go on and, you know, say whatever you want, okay? Um, yeah, so take a look here at this. Yeah, I got several, several things here for you. This is just the first one. You guys are going to be absolutely stunned here. So this is on on their one of their national news stations. Putin's ally suggests nuclear explosion over Russia. They're suggesting to detonate a thermonuclear explosion over their own country. I'm going to let you hear it here. And then Take a look at the reaction of what their people are saying after they said this on national TV. This is how bad shit crazy they are. It's why, and this is why people are very concerned about World War III and them just dropping nukes. Take a listen to this. I'm stunned. Сотни километрах на нашей же территории, где-нибудь над Сибирию, термоядерный взрыв, например ядерный взрыв, то ничего не будет на Земле. Ничего такого страшного. Ни ядерной зимы, которую все боятся, ни чудовищной радиации, которая умрет всех, убьет всех вокруг, а кого не убьет, те умрут в течение 10 лет от онкологии. Этого ничего не будет. А что будет? Okay, so what she says here, if we were to conduct a thermonuclear explosion, just a nuclear explosion hundreds of kilometers above our own territory, someplace in Siberia. Nothing scary would happen on the land. This is what they believe, right? There will be no nuclear winter. Everyone is afraid of. There won't be horrific radiation that will kill everyone or cause oncologic issues that will kill within a decade. None of that will happen. This is what she's saying. Okay? And then, of course, that's not the case. Um, backlash grows after she said this. And her own scientists are saying, wait a minute. We, we don't want to drop a nuclear thermonuclear weapon on our own country. What are, what are you talking about? Um... Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, a nuclear missile strike on the West may be a common theme. And this is what Russians are talking about actually doing to the world. And, and it's like, the, what, are, what are these people? Like, this is what they actually want to do, right? But her apparent call for an atomic weapon use in Russia has sparked consternation as well as legal action. The editor-in-chief of the Kremlin mouse mouthpiece, RT, sparked an outcry when she said that Russia could conduct a thermonuclear explosion hundreds of kilometers above our own territory somewhere in Siberia. And just, just wait a second here, because Russia's done this before. To rattle the West and its support for Ukraine in the war Moscow started. The ally of Vladimir Putin was citing the suggestion of a scientist that such a blast would send a strong message to Russian adversaries without consequences on the ground. It would disable radio electronics, allowing a return to 1993. Yeah, it would disable your own electronics in Russia because you're going to drop the bomb over your own country which in her view was a time when we lived wonderfully. So she wants to drop a atomic bomb over her own country. And she says, was a time when we lived wonderfully. 
This is how bad shit crazy these people are, which is a concern because they also want to drop atomic bombs over the rest of the world, right? This is why people want to, are so concerned, right? But the mayor of Siberia's largest city, Novo Sibirisk, begged to differ, saying with a degree of understatement, quote, there is nothing good about a thermonuclear explosion. They pointed out that his credentials as a trained physicist in saying that consequences of such blasts be last, that they last not just hundreds of years, but millennia. Other scientists' voices agree with the Institute of Nuclear Physicists of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences telling Siberian news outlets that a thermonuclear explosion would have catastrophic consequences and millions could die. Yeah, another phys physicist said that even a nuclear bomb exploded at an altitude and won't immediately kill people in masses, still the radioactive fallout will move around the Earth in the atmosphere. Meanwhile, the state Duma deputy, a lawmaker from Siberia, gave a direct video address in which she said her words had been taken by Siberians as a deep insult. I want, quote, I want to remind you that it was thanks to Siberians that the Soviet people defeated fascism in the Great Patriotic War. She said, therefore, at a minimum, you must apologize to the residents of all Siberia. Yeah, exactly. This is, shows you how crazy these people are. Some pro-Russians and pro-war bloggers and Telegram channels also condemn the con comments, such as MIG Russia. And even the Kremlin distanced themselves from her comments. Her words do not always reflect the official positions, but yet they put it on Russian state TV. In fact, Russia, the old USSR, Soviet Union, has tested several atom, atomic, thermonuclear, uh, slightly different variations of atomic bombs multiple times in their own country, either in the air or on uh, islands off the coast multiple times. You can see here, you can look these up, okay, if you want to. Um, for example, here, this one, on the morning of September 14th, 1954, this is just one of them. They've done this a couple different times. In the Ural Mountains, about 600 miles southeast of Moscow, the Soviet military exploded an atomic bomb in the air near 45,000 Red Army troops and thousands of civilians as part of a military exercise. How many people were killed or maimed or became ill as a result of the exercise may never be known. But a film of the test recently obtained from secret Soviet military archives sheds new light on the often reckless nuclear testing during the Cold War and use of people as guinea pigs, nuclear specialists say. Isn't this sad, sick, and disturbing? The explosion took place near the village of Totskayoki. The military's cameras recorded the explosion as it happened 1,150 feet in the air, which is not that much, with the mushroom cloud forming almost directly above the troops in makeshift shelters less than two miles from the blast center. Above 50,000 troops, guys! Their own troops. Again, you would think you would do this like not near. I mean, if you have to test these, I get that like maybe when you first make these bombs, you have to test them. I get it. Test them away from your own troops. Test them on a far deserted island or something, right? You can't make this stuff up. Yeah, and if you think they're not crazy enough, you also got North Korea halting 
A new uh, North Korea's halt of nuclear reactor suggests bid to obtain weapons grade plutonium. So you literally got North Korea and Russia. Well, we obviously know Russia has like 6,000 nuclear weapons. Okay. Now, North Korea meddling with their own nuclear reactors, dismantling them to get plutonium. Suspension of operations at Yong Bayan Complex points to reprocessing work for nuclear arms. South Korean government source quoted as saying, as this um, nuclear complex, uh, this picture here taken previously, operations have been suspended in what South Korean and the U.S. believe could be a sign of work being done to obtain plutonium for nuclear weapons. Yeah. Yeah, this is because North Korea has halted a nuclear reactor at its main atomic complex, probably to extract plutonium from it. It could be used for weapons by reprocessing the spent fuel rods. Being reported by a South Korean news report citing a government source, the operation of the 5-megawatt nuclear reactor at this nuclear complex has been suspended since late September, according to intelligence assessments by both the U.S. and South Korean authorities. Quote, South Korea and the U.S. believe that this could be a sign of reprocessing work being done to obtain weapons-grade plutonium. Reprocessing of spent fuel rods removed from nuclear reactors is a step taken before plutonium is extracted. The Yong Balayan nuclear complex in, in the north is the north's main source of plutonium that is likely has been used to build nuclear weapons. Wow. Quote, the possibility of a nuclear test by North Korea is not being ruled out. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date. Your mainstream news does not report this stuff. So if you want to continue to hear this stuff, make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon so you know what's going on. Also, don't forget to like these videos. It helps out our YouTube channel grow. And don't forget to share these videos. Click the share button down below. Share them on Facebook, Twitter, or on messages so other people can see them and hear them. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Click here to see the fist fight that almost happened in Congress. Or to click here, click here to watch my newest video next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.